Okay, this is the third video of labor market and it is relevant to wage determination under monopsony employer. So, wage determination under monopsony employer. Monopsony employer refers to the single employer of labor. When there is single employer of labor, then it will try to exploit workers and it will try to pay very low wages. And we can explain it graphically. We have quantity of labor on X. We have wage rate on Y axis. And we will have to draw again two straight lines, positively sloped straight lines, which are divergent to each other. This is average cost of labor, which is also known as supply of labor. This is marginal cost of labor. And this is marginal revenue product of labor, which is also known as demand for labor. MRP, marginal revenue product of labor or it is known as demand for labor. So as per this figure, equilibrium in as per demand and supply takes place at EP, where wage rate in the market should be WP and employment should be QP. Monopsony employer having monopsony power sets equilibrium at EM, at EN, and we can draw perpendicular to find out the level of employment under monopsony employer. Monopsony employer will, will employ QN number of workers, which is lesser than the equilibrium uh, employment under, under perfectly competitive market or under demand and supply of labor. But what wage rate will it pay? Uh, it will pay wage rate equal to, will pay wage rate equal to WN when we draw perpendicular from EN to QN, then this perpendicular intersects supply of labor curve at point A. So monopsony employer will pay wage rate WN. So monopsony employer offers low wage as compared to the prevailing market wage and it employs lesser number of workers.